Hello, basketball fans. Great matchup for you tonight between the Boston College Eagles and the Providence Friars. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I tell you what, it looks like an m and but you never know. If they come out and get an early start and play with some confidence and get that early lead, they can put pressure on the favorite. The Friars are the highly favored team in this one, Dick. Still, what are the keys for the game? Well, the key should be simple tonight, Brad. Number one, the point guard has to be the coach on the floor, making sure his team executes on every possession. Next, make sure every possession you have is a good possession. Don't turn the rock over. Third, be aggressive defensively and force the offense out of its rhythm. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action and see what's in store for us. He takes the shot. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. He unloads, scorches the net. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. The pressure's getting to him, Brad. Inside. He attempts to jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. Dribble gives it up. The skip pass is picked off. Kelly is feeling good. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. On the outside, boy, terrible execution on offense. He'll regroup the offense. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. And up. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates. Dick, he's doing it all and then some. Right now, it's a one-man show. The other players need to step up. Looking for a good shot. He's got some room. He makes a nice shot fake. There's the pick. There's the roll. him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Good job defensively. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. The small forward takes the pass in the paint. There's a high screen. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Gave it up. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Inside. Taken away.
Offense gets it back after that ball was great effort defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter thy lane, baby. Get it out of here. I'm the landlord. He puts it in with contact and all. Going nowhere. Ball stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Look at these fans. They're loving it. It's electrifying in here. Goes for the deep one. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Crawford receives the pass. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. Trying to pack it inside. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. The center receives the ball. There's the trap. Looking for a good shot. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. The shooting guard handles the feed. Goes in. He's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy, too much mustard there. They're working around the perimeter. Kelly handles the pass. He blocks the shot. perimeter from the top of the key. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Two. Great play to take that to the basket. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Head the low block. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He looks for the bomb. There was no doubt about that one. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Launches away. Great shot. Poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball in the deck. Where's he going? On the dribble. Gives it up. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. 
Can we get him the ball, though? Perfectly executed. That's a seven-zip run. There's a bad pass right to the defender. They'll work it around the arc. Stolen away. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking out of the box. Off the rim and no good. Moving it around the perimeter. He up fakes. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially wants a three quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position. So he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. Dump it inside. And they come with a double team to stop it. The Big East has always been a competitive conference, but these days teams from this conference are really powerful, too. I don't know what it is, Brad. The teams in this conference are legit. a little change in direction here, Dick. I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Steals a pass. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. The ball goes out of bounds. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, although the underdog holds the lead now, remember, it is very early, and we don't know if they have been in this position before. So we'll have to see if they'll be able to maintain it. All right, thanks, Aaron. Leading in, trying to draw contact. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Fakes the shot. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. He attempts the trifecta. Nice shot. like to get it inside of the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribble in act here and turns it over. Boston College have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Intercepted. And now they'll bring it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He shoots from the top of the circle. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. And they get the turnover. Jumps into the defender. Oh, yes. That's a 10-zip run.
We get ready to bounce back into action here. He looks for three. Way off target. That bucket counts, and he'll go to the line. Hey, excellent job there. Join the foul and finish in the hoop. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Crawford is trying to get the fans involved now. I guess he feels that this defensive possession is a big one. Got a wide open look. High post screen. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. This is what I call home court advantage. This is what it's all about. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. On the outside. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I tell you, the whole fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. Now they work it around the perimeter. up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Had a guy in the post but elected to reverse the ball. The ball goes out of play. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Looking for a good shot. Leans in. Boston College are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Working it around the perimeter. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really does. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Way off target. Gets it to go. Side. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. From the top of the circle. That's good. They work it around the perimeter. Way out on top. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Looking for a good shot. Eagles have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Keep your eye right on the ball here. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. off the lazy pass for two perfectly executed turnover city that always ruling the gate in the offense looking for contact providence are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together yeah, they're really starting to click on offense He intercepts it. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. That was nice. See who's.
Blazers got more coming out of this timeout as play resumes. Now this is home court advantage at its best. The crowd, the students, everyone is feeling good. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Tempo of the game really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Pump fakes. A high screen. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Looking for a good shot. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Off the rim and no good. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. Went away from the post and goes the other way. He gets the rejection. Fast break possibility coming. Jumps in. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Working it around the perimeter. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. in front to take it away. Arm and foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. chance to cash him in. Hits the first. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Left him a nylon. NBN. Opportunity for two for one. Stolen away. They're not giving him a chance to get into transition. Great command of the floor. Number 44 with the fake. For the bucket. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. time out I'd expect we're going to see more focused play on both sides one would assume so oh, that space hard foul I've seen you out there with pom-poms Mr. Vitale but not looking that good I tell you what don't look that good I can't dance like that baby shot clock is dead entry pass in the paint there's a double team waiting there. He comes away with it. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. That's a foul.
Dick, what do you have as the EA Sports play of the half? Play of the half has to be the buzzer beater, Brad. We're about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's go down and see how this one unfolds. Providence has a lot, a lot more turnovers than I'm used to seeing them have in a first half, Dick. I must admit it, I'm still trying to figure out their game plan. Do they think they can win without any offensive possessions? It would take a miracle for that to happen. This is how upsets happen. The underdog starts to play well, the crowd begins to cheer them on, and the next thing you know, the team that's not supposed to win gets the W. You know, Bradley, that's exactly how it happens. Stolen ball. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert. Get the number game going. It's stolen. They get it out into transition. For two. Up and in. Now they work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Rejects it. You betcha. There's the fake. Tries to get the D to bite. He attempts a jump hook and off the mark. He gets the bucket to fall. the ball. It's not uncommon to have a few high rises on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle and they also have the good entry from the wing. And yeah, we got a whistle and a foul. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. He launches a three. Hmm, that's not a good shot, given his abilities. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Clements. Pound. He gets the layup to go and the foul. What a hoop. He saw the defender coming and tried to go right through him. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes the foul shot. Shoots from the top of the circle. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man for the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Up fake. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. There was no doubt about that one. Steal. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. Tickles a twine. On the 
outside. Fakes a jumper. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys are reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Pump them up then, young man. He wants everyone on their feet. He's saying, show me some love. I'm working my tail off here. He'll shoot two. First shot, good. That's a 7-0 run. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. That's an 8-0 run. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up, and they're ready to try to help their team. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. On the dribble, gives it up. They work the perimeter. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. He tries a jump hook, and in and out. Gave it up. He takes it away. Dump it inside. He shoots from long range. He gets the shot to fall. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. Isn't it great, Brad? He draws a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. court these fans seem to be thrilled with what's going on right now in front of them hey that reaction says it all these fans are ecstatic Brad for two unbelievable look at that post position he can't get a piece of that baby the rejection. Got the shot if he wants it. Launches the three. Sinks it. On the dribble. Gives it up. Tries for two. Drains the shot. the ball. Vicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Providence is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. a double team gave it up looking for a good shot working around the perimeter steals the pass very soft defensively no pressure on a basketball and with that there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively he attempts a jump hook the Friars have got to continue to get him the ball and he's on fire they're working around the arc the dribble gives it up count it and the foul that's how he likes it baby he is 
is going to the line. He got it. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. And a momentary look from three point land. It's good. On the outside. From left of the circle. The Friars have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep hitting the ball. It's simple. Gave it up. For the bucket, perfectly executed. He attempts a jump hook, and he missed. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see Brawl Man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Jumped in front to take it away. <laughs> on the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. Brad, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. Boston College have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Takes the pass in the paint. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. BC was a new addition to the ACC in 2005. They've been in the Big East since 79. I think the school was offered the opportunity and jumped at it. The Friars have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That is on fire. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Picked out of the air. Gave it up. They've left him completely alone. With the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, a great spin move to the basket. Picks off the lazy pass. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Double team now, bad angle. Tries for two, and the ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover there. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Stop and pop. Providence are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Pushing that basketball. He comes away with it. Left, left, left. 
Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, down here on the sidelines, the coaching staff of the higher-ranked team is praising the fact their team got some offensive rhythm established here in the second half. This is the type of basketball we are used to seeing out of this team. Thanks, Aaron. From the top of the circle, he buries the tray. Switch things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. The ball goes out of bounds. Looking for a good shot. Poor judgment results in a backcourt violation. You got to take care of the rock, baby. Well, Dick, what's the frontcourt production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, locking shots, altering shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. They still don't score. Hugh has the offensive rebound. Goes up for two. The Friars have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Picks off the lazy pass. They'll work it around the arc. He fires away. Rims out. This one might go down to the final buzzer. I call these ones knee knockers, Brad. Close games that can easily go down to the final second. Providence are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes away the pass. Length of the floor. Jam City, baby. That's a rim rocker. Terry look from three-point land. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Gave it up. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Transition opportunity coming up. Brings the shot. Long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside. And has it rejected. Defense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Steal. They're probably on cloud nine if they can put some points up on the board. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. A defensive stop will definitely get the fans out of their seats. Dump it inside. Gets it back out. He gives him the fake. Now they work it around the perimeter. He looks for the bomb. They're dialing threes up like nothing right now. Hey, this is awesome to watch, baby. Stolen. 
The Friars are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. Boston College have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. See what they set up, Dick. Looking for a good shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented boards up there. Yeah, that helps. Picks off the pass. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Picked off. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He goes for three. He gets the bucket to fall. Steals the pass. The student body is rocking tonight. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. For the deuce. The Eagles have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Brady's on fire. They work it around the perimeter. He's got an open look for the shot. Controlling the ball. Kicks it out. There's the trap. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. The power forward gets the ball. Unloads a three. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. That shot was definitely ill-advised. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. The Friars have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. So timeout on the floor, and that gives us a break to go courtside. Here's Aaron. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. He unloads a three. He drains the shot. A lot of pressure on that basketball. That's their key to their defense, pushing the ball, denying the wings. And the ball goes out of bounds. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Post flasher. Time to pick up the defense here now. Fakes the shot. The ball goes out of play. As we see the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow is pointing. All factors that are important in close games.
Let's see who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. We've got ourselves a dandy here, folks. The lead has been trimmed to four. Don't waste a lot of time. Foul right away. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. Wow, and that stops the clock again. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I tell you, Brad, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent. Controlling the tempo of the game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in the perimeter. And yet another foul. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. He goes to the line for the first time. No doubt. He hits his second. They need a basket here to turn this into a two-possession game. The lead is six. Hey, a tray here in this place will go absolutely bananas, Brad. I can feel it. They have the foul to put them on the line and hope they miss. Well, Dick, there's a look at the foul situation. Well, you know, Brad, a lot of times the first team to the bonus will get the advantage. That means they're playing aggressive basketball. It means they get to the charity strike quicker and have an opportunity to rack up some easy points. It's a five-point ball game. That's not a lot of points to be down with this much time, Brad. We're ready to get back to the action. Five points separate these two squads right now. No one's leaving this building without a fight, Brad. He drains it. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. And here's a look at the foul situation. Well, Brad, following and knowing when the foul is an important part of the game. If you have fouls to give, sometimes it's better to commit one rather than giving up an easy basket. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Nick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Second one, no good. Timeout on the floor. It's a close one. The trigger fingers are getting itchy, baby. This one's too close to call. You never know what's coming, Brad. I knew this was going to be a dandy, baby. The lead is down to three. From the top of the key, off the mark. Well, Dick, this is unbelievable. I didn't expect this. I think they should have won, and they couldn't find a way to get anything done tonight. I'll tell you, always find a way to regroup whenever things are getting really tough. They regroup, and they make sure the ball is in the hands of the right people. Providence comes away with a win. They expected to be the victor. They just didn't expect it to be this close. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.